1989, you know, it's a whole nother deal. Yeah, I almost lost my life. I was uh, driving a Ferrari I, I had, and, and I got hit by 18-wheeler, and, and I almost lost my life, you know. And the, a lot of these songs on here were inspired by personal events and, and moments in my life. Mm -hmm. And I would say to the, to the kids out there, whatever well, things that they're going through, things that they live, put it on paper instead of putting it out with aggression through sex and, and, and things yeah, and lies yeah. of the devil that the devil says, you know what, well, hey, go try this. And, and, and it's a lot. I live that. And I feel that, you know, the mistakes that I've made as I put it on the CD, that as I, I uh, talk to the kids about it, that, you know, if, if I did things that weren't right, that I should have before, you know, God wanted to, I didn't do things the way that God wanted to, that so many kids are going to make the right decision yeah. because of my mistakes and things that I did. You know, I can't help but only go forward and make things right. Yeah, and uh, that, that's true. How how easy is it? It's not easy at all, is it? Man, it was many nights uh, of uh, not sleeping. You know, still I'm working on my second album. I got an album coming out later this year, you know, late uh, uh, this year, early next year, you know, uh, called God's Chosen. It's many sleepless nights in the studios, you know, many, many uh, different different valleys and, and trials and things to go through because the, the, the devil's not trying to allow this. Exactly. Rap music is the most influential out of all the music. So if you study the statistics and look at that, and this thing, you know, I've had so many roadblocks that stores that don't want to put it. I've had Christian stores, that I'm not going to say no names, <laughs> that have kicked my CD out or whatever because I got secular artist names on there or because I got a gun. I got a gun on, on here, but this is real life. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it, I said. You know, it's something that our kids are facing every day man our our young youth our young adults are you know the men and women of, of today this is what we're facing every day we, we're facing life and death situations that i mean we we have we have to make the choice man we, we, we don't get to pause life like i said earlier you know and uh you know you're saying you know i mean that it's not easy now how how easy is life because not maybe it, you're not just asking for God, I want to be a rapper. Whatever the case is, man, a preacher, an evangelist, a, a teacher at your church, if you're the cleanup guy at your church, whatever the thing is, if your goal is to produce in the kingdom of God, the enemy is always going to come and attack you. And, you know, I thank God for men of God like Albert that are going to come and not just say, man, you know, my life is great. My life is good. You know, I got my CD. I got my business. Everything is great. But say Speak the truth, man. It ain't easy. You know, no, the no, enemy no. attacks us financially, emotionally, spiritually, in our families, in every way. But you got to keep going. I told my wife this a couple nights ago. I go, you know what, man? I, I get so frustrated, you know, spiritually with, with a lot of people that have so much potential and don't know nothing about it. You know, you got some boys that could rap. You got some boys that could preach. You got some boys that got talent. Don't know nothing about it. I go, but then I got to realize that I don't doubt that they tried. And then they got whooped by the devil and sat right back down, man, because they don't keep persevering. They don't keep going. They don't keep fighting. You know, they're, they're not putting up their dukes and hitting them back, you know. And uh, I thank God for men of God like you that, that are coming to these churches. And uh, just to let you know, a quick little commercial there. You know, Albert will be in, in one of our services that I will be announcing a little bit later. We're going to talk, see his calendar and our calendar. And uh, we'll be at one of our events so you can come and get to meet him personally. You know, uh, but I know that, that a lot of people out there are just just struggling, you know, and, and they just, they got to know that the man that made it, the woman that made it, say, hey, you know what, I passed the same thing, but you got to keep fighting, you got to keep going. You know, is there a, uh, we don't got too much time, we got about two more minutes left, three more minutes left. Do you, you have a word inside your heart, man, that uh, that could just, just touch? I mean, right now you have men, you have women, you have young youth. Everybody watching you, and, and they're right now just thinking, you know what, I, 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 in their personal life, they're going through their own situation. You know, what could you, what kind of motivation could you give them to just keep going in life, man? Man, I, I have to, you know, what I would say is, is they're not alone. You know, exactly. every, every, there's a lot of people right now going through things that, that are even worse than, than your situation, you know, and, and uh, call on the Lord, you know. Uh, you can't go wrong you know God is faithful when everybody else is and and, uh, and I, I've lived it I've been there I spoke it through the album and just ask yourself you know what's more important you know uh, chance of things you can't pause life it's it's not a game this is not Super Mario brother any of these games that you get two or three lives that you know hey I lose I got two men left or whatever you know it's, it's not a game but really ask yourself you know Perseverance Records is the name of the album whatever you know perseverance you know it's to endure long suffering 
to make it through the struggles, to make it through the battles. And we got benches and billboards throughout Houston that say and ask this question. If you were to die today, where would you spend eternity? Give your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. These are the last days. A lot of people, you know, I, I wrote a poem one time, and I, I got several poems. I got a poetry book. That's another thing, you know, coming out, a couple of them. And on there it said, you know, don't anticipate and procrastinate the end of time. Think to yourself in five minutes. It can be mine, you know. And, and that was just saying that, you know, everybody's way, hey, well, I got to the end of time. I got to the end of the world, and Jesus is coming back. But you might not make it. You keep gambling. You you know, you might not make it. And, and I, I would tell everybody to just, just keep your head up. You know, keep on fighting. You know, it's a fight, and it will be a fight until the day that we leave this earth. Exactly. And just, just, just trust in the Lord, and and uh, don't take life for granted. Take every second, every moment that you have, and cherish it with the ones that you love, with your wife, with your kids, with your family, and uh, and and live life to the fullest. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your struggles. Don't let your, you know, live your dreams. And your dreams should be God. Seek ye first the kingdom, and all its righteousness, and all things will be added. So, you know. Uh, that's that's what I, I would say. Yeah, and I, that, would, I think that's something that's so important. I like one little thing that you said. I know that we're about to go, come to a close, but right now, if you do not have Jesus in your heart and you've just tuned in and, uh, you know, we've caught your attention, you know, we, we want to motivate you in this moment, you know, it's very easy to ask Jesus in your heart. All you got to do is just, is just say this prayer with us. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and pray. I want you to repeat it with me, you know, and uh, it's that easy, but at the same time after that, it's like... Uh, Bad boy, Al said, man, you got to keep going. You got to keep walking. Put yourself in a good Bible-believing church. Keep walking. Keep believing. Because you know what? Your neighbor might not believe in you. Not even your mama might not believe in you. But Jesus Christ does believe in you. You know, and that's all that counts. Say with me, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I just ask you, come into my heart. Change me. Transform me. In these moments, I give you my all. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen and amen. I want to thank you for making that prayer. There are phone numbers there that are on your screen. Call them. If you want to get a hold of Perseverance, the number is right there on the screen. Uh, web address is right there on the screen. Do do what you got to do. You know, contact them. Great man of God. You know, the CD is in stores, you know, anywhere around, around Houston. Just check them out. Pretty much anywhere, uh, your local mom and pop stores to your, your major Houston malls, Willowbrook Mall, Greens Point, uh, North Line, Northwest, uh, pretty pretty much all your major malls. Yeah, all right. Cool. So uh, th there you have it. I want to thank you once again for tuning in. I'll see you here tomorrow at the same time. God bless you. We love you. Bless you. Ain't nothing without you, I'm nothing without me, I'm like a blumin' in the What's up, it's your boy Bad Boy Al, Perseverance Records with my new album, The Story of Spiritual Warfare, featuring the smash hits I Ain't Nothing and Picture After Picture. Be sure to check out much more from the Perseverance family, including our underground album, Taking Over the World, Volume 1 and Volume 2. And remember, if it ain't about God, it ain't about nothing. Valley, valley, picture after picture, all the things that I saw. Your plan for next week when you ain't promised tomorrow.